Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on Halloween Ends, which is the newest trilogy of Michael Myers films. Alright. The first movie was good. The second one, it was good. But the third one was a little different. Okay. It made him seem like because he got shot and beat down and all that good stuff, he was very feeble until he started killing again. And it's like a drug to him, and he started getting stronger and stronger. But not quite strong enough, because Jamie Lee Cur uh, Curtis's character ended up supposedly killing him in the end. But we don't know that. Even though you've seen him throw him in a, uh, not a trash compactor, but a grinder. And it grinded him up, so that ended the trilogy technically. But the question is, did they actually really kill Michael Myers, or was that somebody else? Maybe Corey? Okay. He might have got thrown into the mix and they might have saved Michael Myers. And that's probably why they're going to reboot the franchise. Um, we're going to see what kind of direction they take it in. Now don't get me wrong, Michael Myers and the whole Halloween franchise is awesome. But he's not my favorite character. I like Jason a little bit better. But Hellraiser is my all-time favorite franchise. Okay, hands down. Okay, I just love the dark, eerie, sexualized, tortured type thing going on in those movies. I think those are very cool. But today we're going to get into this and we're going to talk about the box art and then we're going to pull it out of the package and then we're going to jump into another um, video which is about Freddy Krueger. I do have two other figures based on Freddy Krueger but this one here is full of accessories. We're going to definitely check that out in the next video. And right behind that which is the last one I finally got around to purchasing the Living Dead dolls. I do have a total of nine of them right now. With this one here, we'll, we'll include it will be uh, around 12 uh, so far. These are based on Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And we're going to definitely check that out in another video, okay? So stay tuned for all that. They are going to get posted sometime today and tomorrow, okay? But in the meantime, let's look at the box art for this NECA figure. Okay? All right. Let's turn it around. Okay, that's the front of the cover. I'm sorry about the glare. But these things have a high gloss to them. See that? The ultimate Michael Myers. The mask in itself is very cool looking, but I'll tell you what. Ever since uh, this movie or the movie before that, they jacked those prices up. They jumped up like $20 more than your standard price for Michael Myers masks. I do have... Uh, the 2007, uh, the original uh, 95 mask, as well as the aged mask. I don't know what you want to call that, but I don't have the last one, which is totally decayed, and some pieces are missing simply because of the price. Uh, you're missing half the mask, so yeah, I'm not going to pay for that. And it's, not, it's nothing personal, but I just don't believe in doing that. But anyway, I got those masks. I got the original 78 mask, as well as the 2018 mask. I don't have a huge collection of uh, Michael Myers masks, but I do have a decent amount of the uh, figures in themselves. And I do like the season of The Witch. I think that's an awesome movie. A lot of people don't like it, simply because it was different and it didn't have Michael Myers in it. But in fact, it just showed a cameo of Michael on the TV while it was in that film. A lot of people don't, are not aware of the actual fact that that... Um, uh, film franchise in itself was not supposed to be based on Michael Myers. A lot of people don't know that. It was actually supposed to be a various uh, film collection of horror-esque uh, slash Halloween type movies. But because of the popularity of Michael Myers in the first two movies, they changed all that. Alright, so hang on for a second here, guys. Okay. Now that's a close-up of the actual side panel. Alright. Now, like I said, the gloss, uh, the gloss, I'm sorry about that. We'll get them out of the package real quick. It's got a decent amount of accessories, too, okay? And the pumpkin, you know, you got to have the pumpkin. Michael Myers, okay. See that? Another headpiece. Okay. We'll get all this stuff out of the package real quick. It's got two different knives in it, too. Which I thought that was cool. All right. Enough about that. Let's get into the side panel here. Oh, this way. Okay. Halloween ends. Okay, and it's a NECA figure, obviously. All right. That's the side panel of it. The back is very cool looking. Yeah, 
very cool pictures. Bunch of writing at the bottom. <clears throat> and the side panel on this side is the same. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and get everything out of this package because it does take time to get these out of their package. So I will be right back, guys and gals. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to discriminate. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to touch base on the accessories. It did take a little, a little bit of time to get it out of the package, and I will tell you this. Uh, one of the knives, the bloody variant knife, I tried to put it into the hand, but the hand was really uh, stiff, and it snapped the handle off of it. And it's on the floor somewhere here. So I might glue it back together. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> but anyway, let me show you the knife. And we're going to show you the accessories, and then we're going to get right into the figure, okay? Now, as you can see, the handle's broken on this thing, okay? So just know that, okay? So you got to be careful when you put it into the hand, okay? Now, it does come with three separate knives, okay? I put the clear one on now, on that figure. And then there's the rusty version. I think that's what it is. That's kind of dirty. Show you the handle. It okay. looks like it's bloody, but it's at the same time it's like a dry blood version. Okay. There we go. Alright. Moving on. It comes with three separate hands. Obviously you get the one that's you know already cut. Okay. the right lighting here. He's missing some finger there, okay? I don't know if you can see that or not. Hang on for a second. Okay, you can't see it, okay. I had the camera um, panel on a wrong angle, so I thought it was darker than it really was. But that's what that looks like there. Sorry about the camera. Keep bumping it. Here's your other handle. Other hand, not handle. Again, missing some fingers. Okay. Okay. And here's the other one. This is a full hand. That's cool. All right. Now it does come with another head. As compared to the one that's on here, the one that's on here right now, I'll show you in a second. Uh, seems a little bit uh, lighter in color. This one here is a more burnt variant. Uh, as he was coming out of the house and stuff. As you can see, he's totally fucked up here. I'm gonna switch out the heads on this one too. He's a little damaged, okay. Again, the, okay. All right, now we're going to get into the pumpkin here. Most of the uh, NECA figures, when it comes to Michael Myers, they come with pumpkins, and I've got a bunch of them from uh, Trick or Treat Studios, the plastic prop ones. I got like four or five of them now. That's what that one looks like. Show you the top. Show you the bottom. And that's what that looks like. It'll stand right next to Mr. Michael. What we doing? Like that. But anyway. Let's get into the figure. Okay. I'm going to pull it off its stand. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop the head off. Oh no. Actually I'm going to leave it on there. Okay. This is what she looks like. Okay. 
he's got a serious collar on this particular suit. Now the 2007 version, uh, that was actually a brown suit where most of these are usually blue or a dark blue. In this case it looks like it's got some blue to it. That's just standard uh, Michael Myers uh, costume. The 2007 obviously was a standalone. <clears throat> but that was my all time favorite simply because of how vicious he was and how big he was. I just love that fact about him. Uh, but a lot of people, like most franchises, they'll stand there and criticize the shit out of it simply because it's different. That's just what they do. They do that with the Chucky ones. They did it with Hellraiser with Doug Bradley not being in the movies anymore. As well as uh, Freddy Krueger. They, they criticize all that. That's just what fans do. Anyway, anyway articulation-wise, uh, it, it does move. Okay, right here at the shoulders. As well as the elbows, okay. He's like, tsh, tsh. Okay. I see it myself. I was really seriously thinking a long time ago to get myself a mannequin and get the suit and the boots and put one of my masks together so it, it was a full size uh, figure based on Michael Myers. But the mannequins in themselves, because I can't seem to find a place that sells them dirt cheap. Uh, it was way too expensive, so it kind of stopped me from doing it. But I would have invested into the suit and the boots and everything for it. Okay. Okay, and the boots, man, they're standard too. Uh, a lot of people are really picky about the boots. They got to be just right. Especially when you're dealing with cosplay or, you know, horror, horror type... Um, Conventions and stuff like that. Yeah, they want it to be right. Which I don't blame them. I would do the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? It also bends at the knees here. Okay. But it's very tough. See. Hips. They do move. Okay. Torso does not necessarily move. But the arms do move. At the elbows. Shoulders. Hands do move. Okay. It does move. And the head obviously moves. Okay. And that's the Halloween ends Michael Myers figure. Okay. Now I do like the actual mask in itself to a certain point. But like I said earlier, they jacked the prices up deliberately because they're, uh, they're popular. And Michael Myers is one of the most popular horror franchise uh, characters. So let's jack those prices up $20 more. So I try to get one uh, through Big Bad Toy Story, but they jumped up to like 80 bucks from 60 bucks. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. But it is what it is. Some people will invest, so it's not an issue for some people, but for me, and when it gets out of a certain price range for me, I'm not going to do that. I have to do some serious thinking about that. Okay, but that's the Michael Myers figure. Okay, and I'm going to pretty much end it here. But I do have another one coming along the way here. Uh, it'll be probably two videos down. It is, in fact, the season of the witch, and I'm going to show you the box. So you can go ahead and check out the um, video when the time comes. Oof, see that? Season of the witch. These are the living dead dolls. Okay. As you can see the glare. The skeleton and the pumpkin kid. Okay. Anyway, we're going to do a video on that right after my Freddy Krueger. I'm going to have it posted real soon, hopefully by tomorrow, okay? But all the accessories do come with it, and you got to be careful with the knives, because if you force it into that hand without stretching the hand out, it's going to snap the handle, okay? And that's what it did to me, so. But i got a bunch of knives, so I'm not worrying too much about it, because i got a handful of these figures sitting on my shelf. Along with my masks, as well as my uh, pumpkin props, and i got, like, five or six, maybe seven uh, Michael Myers knives from Trick or Treat Studios. I got a good collection of uh, Halloween type stuff too. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to uh, the Halloween ends type Michael Myers. The movie in itself was okay. It just made him seem like he was feeble after he got the beat down and he got shot in the face. He didn't get shot in the head. He got shot in the face. Okay, And he survived it. Obviously he will. And because he's like a serial killer, they're a lot more powerful than your standard human. So they can endure a lot more pain because, I don't know, it's a psychological thing. 
But he managed to survive it and went into hiding. And the movie in itself was okay. And that Corey character, I don't know where they came out with that one, but it is what it is. But I'm sure, in my opinion, I think they probably took Corey, if he was dead, uh, threw the Michael Myers suit on him and just threw him into the grinder. Okay? Okay. That's just my thinking. I'm not saying that's what it was. Uh, but anyway, the franchise in itself is being rebooted as we speak. Uh, Miramax has got the, the TV rights to uh, Halloween uh, franchise in itself, so they're probably going to come out with another um, TV series just like Chucky. Chucky's quite successful right now because of what they did with that. And I'm still watching those, you know, every so often. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out that box set that I just showed you. As well as uh, Freddy Krueger. I now have three of those. Alright, so stick around. This is the House of Horrors, okay? And we will see you guys later on.